Choosing components for your perfect desktop is essential for gamers everywhere. But for those who want to choose the best configurations for their favorite type of games, there are some key components you may want to give some extra attention to. Hi, I'm Josh, the social planner at Alienware, and I'm here to help you choose the best Aurora R15 desktop option for your favorite game genres. Up first, let's talk about those crisp visuals that every gamer looks for. Your GPU is essential for generating all the frames you see on your screen at any given second and determines how many settings you can truly set to the max. It also influences how well your computer can process things like lighting, shadows, and in-game physics. Keep in mind that if you're using higher settings, it can affect your frames per second or FPS, so it's important to find the balance between visual details and the frame rate that works best for you. These processes are run by something called VRAM a type of graphics memory that regulates a computer's 3D calculations, lighting, and physics. Higher-end GPU models can run more of these calculations faster and larger amounts of VRAM, allow your GPU to access, generate, and manipulate even more textures and data more easily. Additionally, VRAM supports a resolution of your display. Higher resolution means more pixels, which means more intense graphics calculations, and you guys get the idea. The Aurora R15 has several options for GPUs from our industry-leading partners at NVIDIA and AMD. If you're looking to primarily play indie games that have fewer demanding graphics, we'd recommend going with something like an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 or a Radeon RX 6900 XT. And if you're looking at resolution, these cards are great for a 1080p display. You can even squeeze some pretty high frame rates depending on your settings. Your mileage may vary. But if FPS games are more your speed and you really want to make sure you can see your enemies fighting from further away, it could be worth upgrading to an RTX 4070 Ti. These cards offer a little more bang for your buck with a similar performance to higher end cards at a more affordable price. 1440p will probably be your sweet spot here for resolution, while still playing around with that balance between resolution and refresh rate. However, if you're more wanting to immerse yourself in worlds like an RPG or in a graphically intense game like Cyberpunk, it's going to need some of the more recent GPU releases, like an RTX 4080 or an RX 7900 XT. Your frames may be based on the game, but keep in mind the lower you set your resolution and in-game settings, the more frames you're likely to get. Now that you've determined which level of graphics output you'd like to get from your computer, it's time to talk about the processing power you need to run your favorite games. Your CPU plays a vital role in processing and executing tasks. Having a faster CPU can improve game performance by providing more bandwidth and removing bottlenecks that would get in the way of your game. There are two main things you need to keep in mind when selecting a CPU, the core count and the clock speed. In general, the more cores you have, the more efficiently you can execute those tasks. Your clock speed measures the time it takes for your computer to execute tasks. It's measured in gigahertz, or GHZ if you want to add some letters to it, and the higher the clock speed, the faster your CPU's performance. Overall, a faster CPU will lead to faster performance, meaning you can load a lobby, join a voice call in Discord, and upgrade games in the background simultaneously. If you're just starting out or don't anticipate needing to multitask while gaming, an Intel 13th Gen Core i5 processor or AMD Ryzen 5 7500 CPU will easily allow you to work on your town or search the salvage yard in My Time in Sandrock, or any of your other favorite games. However, the most recommended processors for gaming systems are the Intel i7 or Ryzen 7 7700. These processors will allow you to run additional programs like Discord more easily in the background. If you're anticipating running heavier programs in the background while gaming, like streaming or recording software for content creation, you may want to consider upgrading to an i9 or a Ryzen 9, which will let you share the experiences in Night City with your viewers or subscribers if you so choose. Now, keeping your CPU cool is key to ensuring your system is running just the way that it should. Luckily, the R15 here comes with a 240mm all-in-one liquid cooler paired with three additional 120mm fans. Two fans as intake in the front and one fan as exhaust in the rear. With all these processes running through your CPU, it's time to discuss the RAM, which works in tandem with your CPU to execute all those processes and tasks we talked about earlier. RAM is your computer's short-term memory. In other words, it's where the computer stores information that it needs to access quickly. When gaming, RAM stores game data, such as textures, models, and game logic, allowing for faster access when playing. The quicker and more RAM you have, the more game data you can store in memory, resulting in faster load times and giving an increased stability for your games, giving you that seamless loading screen experience. Having more RAM allows you to handle multiple tasks at the same time that utilize different software 
As we mentioned before, a computer's RAM works closely with its CPU to make sure that all those tasks that the CPU is running have the space to be executed efficiently. Aside from how much RAM you have, RAM speed also plays a key role. The faster the RAM speed, the quicker the data can be transferred between the RAM and the processor, which helps you seamlessly load infinite worlds as you travel throughout them in real time. This is especially true when working with large game files. In the Aurora R15 here, we offer between a 4800 MHz and 5200 MHz of RAM, which is sufficient in protecting your processing speeds in most cases, but particularly if you're into competitive gaming, the 5200 MHz might be the best option worthwhile upgrading to. In general, we consider 16 GB to be sufficient for most games today. But with games getting more demanding, you could consider upgrading to 32 gigabytes, which would provide you benefits while running multiple tasks at once, like Discord, Spotify, and OBS. However, if you like to use your gaming PC for some of your other hobbies, then upgrading your RAM to 64 or even 128 gigabytes could be beneficial for you, but you may not see a boost in your PC's gaming performance. Now that we've got most of our performance-based components sorted, it's time to chat about how you're going to store all your favorite games. Now let's face it, we would all much prefer to have an endless amount of storage so that we would never have to uninstall, then reinstall that obscure game title that your friends want to play only once in a blue moon. But storage also affects the speed of your computer's transfer files and data access, which can affect how smoothly your games run. When it comes to the R15, you can find storage options from 256 gigabytes all the way up to six terabytes. All these options are equipped with SSDs that utilize NVMe to deliver the highest throughput and fastest response times yet for any desktop build. With that said, we'd recommend utilizing a dual drive for gaming so that your favorite games can sit on one drive while your operating system and other vital programs can sit on the other. If you're planning to use your PC to play a handful of games that don't take up a ton of storage, we recommend combining a 512 gigabytes SSD with a one terabyte HDD. A bonus of indie games is that they're usually a lot smaller in size than AAA titles, which just means you can keep more of them installed for whichever mood you're in that day. If your main genre is an FPS game, you'll likely benefit from upgrading to a one terabyte SSD with a two terabyte HDD. FPS games tend to have more intense shading and graphics, as well as more character skins, which can create a hefty file size. There's nothing worse than wanting to load into game night, but realizing you still have to download a 100 gigabyte game file, and that's without all the high res textures. Finally, if you're looking to keep all those open immersive worlds installed for you to escape into at a moment's notice, and you're still running out of storage, we do have a two terabyte SSD plus two terabyte HDD option for you to utilize. No need to say goodbye to Skellige or the Badlands if you don't want to. Ultimately, choosing the best components for your computer is up to you and your personal preferences. But hopefully, this guide will help push you in the right direction. To build your own Alienware Aurora R15, or if you want to check out more, find it all on Alienware.com. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. GG, y'all. See you next time.